Welcome or welcome back at C squared. In this video clip, we're gonna take a look to what I call basics of geometry, and we're gonna talk about the buildings block of geometry. And the first one you see here is what we call a point. Point A. You see, we use capital letter. The, a point is nothing else than a place on a plane. You see point A, and this is point B. And now if I connect these two points, I get what is called a line, you see. If you have a ruler or a straight edge, you can connect them and you get a line. Line AB. And you notice the notation of line. AB, like this, with these two arrows on top. It's okay if you call this line BA, so the order really does not matter. And by the way, this line has an infinity of points. It doesn't have only A and B. It has an infinity of points. However, it's a very important postulate in geometry, which says that if you have two points, there is exactly one line. This is one of the Euclid postulates, very important in geometry. Now you see here another line. And the reason I put it here, you may see sometime we call a line just using a letter, like this is line L or M. Now here you see three points and something that it looks like a piece of paper, right? Like a flat surface that is called a plane. Okay, it's a two-dimensional object, like I said, it has no thickness and it goes forever. And in this plane, if you notice, we can draw lines. For example, here we have line AB. But you can have any other points, like C and uh, like uh, these two points, and you have a, a line like that. An infinity of line you can draw in a plane. The next thing you see here is something that looks very similar to the others, however, it's different. Do you see? This one has something that we call endpoints. Yeah. A, the previous one, the line, doesn't have endpoints. It has point, the point A and B on it, but the, on the, in this case, A and B are the endpoints of this segment or line segment. You can, you, you, you're going to hear that also. So this is the line segment AB, and I want you to take a look at the notation. Very important. This is the notation for line AB. We can also call it BA. It's not a problem. And I forgot to mention here, this is called the plane ABC. We use three letter at least. Okay, let's move to the next thing. And you notice something, again, very similar with a, uh, a line and a segment. The only difference, this one starts from one point, point A, point A. And goes through point B forever. This is what we call a ray. And I said here, a ray is a piece of a line. Yeah, is well, I'm gonna say kind of a half of a line, even though we cannot measure a line. Okay, very important. So, like I said, it has one endpoint. Very important the notation. This is ray AB. Be careful, you cannot call it BA because that will be wrong, right? BA will be the other direction, something like uh, this. Okay, so very important on array to start with the endpoint, use another point on the ray, and that's the way you're gonna call that ray. And now you see here two rays, rays AC, right, and ray a, B. If you notice, we get what we call an angle. An angle is formed by two rays of the same main point, right? So now let's see how we call an angle. We can call that angle simply angle A, which is good enough in this case because we have only one angle that is angle A. But usually you're going to see we're going to call an angle using three letters. So for for this example, for example, for, for this example, we, we call this one angle B, A, C. Also, it's okay if you call it angle C, A, B. If you notice, this point is in the middle. 
very important on that. That point to be in the middle. That point has a name. It's called a vertex. So point A for that angle, it's called the vertex of the angle. Now you notice here we have two lines and these two lines are what we call parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that are on the same plane and they do not have a common point. They do not intersect. And let's write here a statement. AB, line AB. It's okay if you call this segment AB but you just talk about the segment. And that's the notation for parallel lines. Parallel with the line CD. Okay, so this statement says the line AB parallel with the line CD. On the other hand, this statement says the segment AB parallel with the segment CD. Okay. Good. Let's go to another type of lines, which we call them perpendicular line. Do you see this perpendicular line? Yes, they do intersect in one point. And they intersect in a very interesting way. way. I put a box here, if you notice. That angle there is 90 degree, very important. So this angle here is 90 degree. When two lines are perpendicular, they form a four 90 degree angles. In fact, because all these angles are 90 degree. The notation will be like this, line AB. Again, don't forget to put the arrow perpendicular on line CD. You see now the notation for perpendicular line. Of course you can write this in a format of line segment, segment, segment AB perpendicular on segment CD. And now let's take a look to this picture. This is a three-dimensional picture, right? Uh, like a cube if you want. I'm going to use this cube to define something that we, that we call skew lines. If you take a look, DH and AB, these two are called skew line. Let me do it one more time, this one. And this one. Of course, if you remember, the line goes forever. These two are called skew lines. Okay? They do not intersect, but they are not parallel uh, lines. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to write here this example. DH, the line DH, and the line AB. These two lines are skew line, and they are not the only one. If you take a look in the picture, we have a bunch of them. AD, for example, and CG. Okay. Now, EF, for example, and CD are parallel lines. Be careful. A, B, and F, E, parallel lines. So skew lines uh, are not in the same plan. That's it. It's a very important thing to remember. And uh, on this picture, I'm going to show you something that we called collinear points. You see point A, B, and C. These three points are on the same line. We call them collinear. Of course, we have a bunch of points here, an infinity of points, all of them. We call them collinear. They are on the same line. Similarly, we have one more term in today's uh, video clip, which we call them very similar coplanar points. Points that are in the same plane. Okay, points A, B, and C are in the same plane. But if I put another point here, point D, this point D is coplanar with A, B, C in the same plane. But if I have a line like this intersecting the plane in uh, let's say point G
Okay. G is also coplan or of these four points. And let's say this point F, that point is on the top of the plane, is not coplanar of point G. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.